there and welcome to Quilting Bee, Spokane Valley, Washington. I'm here to show you the newest baby lock machine, which is the Altair 2. Uh, it will be replacing the Altair 1, and this one has so many more features, so many more designs. Uh, you're going to love the things that is involved in this new machine. First thing I want to show you is that it does have that dual foot control. Um, it does have the big one. You can set this back in to do different multifunctions. And you can also set the little one to do uh, multifunctions like cutting the thread, taking a stitch, needle up and down. So uh, a lot of people have asked for that with these new baby lock machines and they have provided them. Um, other things that are on this machine is um, if we go into the sewing side of it, you will notice that there's a few different categories on the screen here. They have the hand stitch look machines that have become very popular these days. So you can quilt your machine with a quarter inch stitch, a half inch stitch, or a full inch stitch for basting or anything like that. You can get the bigger stitches. Uh, that's a really nice feature to have. They've also included these tapering stitches. So with the tapering stitches, you can taper the the beginning of the stitch and the end of the stitch by just turning on this window. We've turned it on. Uh, we can do the start. It has different angles that you can set it at. Um, and then if we go to the end, you have different angles that you can set it at. This is really great for doing some decorative things on uh, that you don't have to use your embroidery machine, but it, there, it can make some really cute flowers, boxes, things like that. Um, so that's a fun feature to play with. Um, also in this machine, we have new embroideries. So if I go over to the embroidery side, we have a new category here. This is our couching, our yarn couching category. There's a lot of, uh, this has the entire uppercase alphabet, lowercase alphabet, and some numbers and everything. So you can really do some different things with this. You can create, you can take the um, L here or the I and you can turn that sideways and create different things. Uh, with the built-in alphabet, I did make this pillow. So you can make some really nice things. These are about three inches tall. Um, you can um, edit them a little bit um, smaller, larger, so you can get any kind of look that you want on that. Once again, it has the entire alphabet. I did do that in the nine and a half by 14 inch hoop, so that it will fit on any size hoop that you have. Uh, with this machine, you're also getting a nine by nine and a half by nine and a half inch hoop, which is really nice for uh, designs like this. This is another design that I did. This is a built-in design, this little birthday cake and the cup. Um, and then what I did is I took it into my IQ designer and I added the background fills on it. And then I added the happy birthday. So um, lots of fun things you can do with that. When you are using the yarn couching, you cannot add any, any other designs, any other features in your design. So what you have to do is you have to either stitch your background first or do the couching first and then you come in delete that and then add more, add the background uh, and the lettering. So um, your machine will tell you that, it's not gonna let you do anything to hurt it. So uh, fabulous feature with these um, couching designs. We also have new monogram, new fonts in the font department. So we now have 25 fonts instead of 22. These are little tiny fonts for like collars and cuffs. So these cannot be resized, but all the other ones can be resized a little bit. Um, there are also six monogram fonts. Before we used to have five, so they've added this new monogram font. Uh, you can play with those. Um, these letters are about five uh, inches tall, so they're much bigger letters. It only has the capital letters because that's what we usually do monograms in. Um, it does have the frames in here, same as we had before. Also in our um, button, large buttonholes, embroidery buttonholes, they've added some eyelet features. So you can make bigger eyelets if you wanna make bigger holes uh, rather than just little um, holes that you might put uh, some uh, 
ribbon through. Um, so that's another nice feature that is in there. Um, and when we go into my design, IQ Designer, uh, they have added more fills. So if we go in here, and they ch have changed the screen a little bit. So with your erasers, um, or your paintbrush, it now has six different categories rather than three, so it's added more categories there. And we do have um, 30 background fills, so a lot more fills in there because used to be we only had 15, so uh, very nice with that. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to show you how to do this yarn couching. Um, you do get a special foot with this yarn couching. I already have it on the machine here. Um, it does come with this little yarn guide right here, and this just slips into your machine. Um, and um, I did replace the lid right now that says Altair on it, but I replaced it with the um, thread guide because I needed my yarn to run through that. Now, you don't want the yarn the thread guide up as high as it will go when you're doing yarn couching, so you want to bring it down halfway. Um, I just have yarn, it's just laying to the side here. I like to put it on the ground because then I can kind of hold it and add more um, slack to it if I want to. Uh, some people will just put it by the side of your machine and that's right. When you're doing these couching designs, you do not want to leave your machine because if the yarn gets tangled or it gets stuck and it's not unrolling, it's going to jam your machine and we don't want that to happen. You're gonna thread the top of your machine with just regular thread. You do want it to kind of match your yarn because it is gonna show a little bit. If you look right here, it does do a, a triangle stitch around there. So um, it is gonna show on the top, but if you match it, it's really not going to show. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select an embroidery design. Uh, we're going to go into their couching category and I'm going to go in here. I'm going to pick this little squirrel. There are um, 24 couching designs and you can see that they do say C on them. So I'm going to, just going to go down here and I'm going to add this little squirrel right here. Uh, and once I, the only thing that you can do with this on this screen is you can reverse it, uh, mirror image it if you want to. Once you set the design, there are some editing things you can do. You can resize these designs uh, just like you would in the regular designs, uh, your regular embroidery designs. You can move it, although you need to be aware what size hoop you have on. I have on the five by seven hoop today, uh, just because we're a little bit limited by space, but you can do your nine and a half by 14 inch hoop. You can do a magnetic hoop. You can do any hoop you want. Um, you can also move it. Of course, we have the move buttons here, or you can move it with your fingers. Uh, we can rotate it, we can duplicate it. So if you are doing yarn, yarn couching, you can put multiple yarn couching designs in your hoop, but you just cannot add another quilting design. So if I went in here and I try to um, add another design, if I wanted to go in here, it's going to tell me a couching pattern cannot be combined with a pattern from a different category. So your machine's not going to let you do it, um, which is protecting the machine, but you can go in here and add um, designs to other couching designs in with your design. Okay, um, so right now I have two added. I'm going to delete one because it stayed on my screen. Uh, I'm done editing, so I'm going to go to the embroidery. So you'll notice that I cannot even put a basting box around it. So this is the one time that I do hoop my fabric because I cannot do that basting box. Um, if you did want to do a basting box around it, like if you were doing uh, a thicker fabric, a fabric with a nap, what you could do is you could go in and, and do a basting box first get out of that and then do a couching design separately. So you'd be doing two different um, embroidery designs. Um, so if I go on right here, uh, my, my yarn does not go through the needle. It goes through the hole in the foot and they give you this little um, threader to uh, th help thread that uh, yarn through the hole in the foot because sometimes you can use thicker yarn, you can use thinner yarn, um, you can even use embroidery floss. So you can try all different kinds of this. There's, it's a lot of fun to do this. Uh, my thread is threaded through the needle. Your needle threader will work with this, with your couching designs. So now I'm ready to um, 
start this design, I have to lower my presser foot because you're, the settings on your machine that automatically put your foot down do not work in your couching design. So you have to be, uh, you have to do a few extra steps on, on your couching. But once I press start, it's gonna move into position. Now this design is going to take me four minutes. So uh, when you are doing your um, couching designs, it does automatically show, slow the machine down to 600 uh, stitches per minute because it, it cannot go the 1,050 stitches per minute. So I'm just gonna cut off that extra yarn uh, because the, it has locked the stitch in there. So that's not gonna come apart. I don't have to bury those yarns or anything like that. Uh, so what I wanna do is I just wanna kinda keep an eye on it, make sure that uh, my yarn is flowing through there freely. You don't have to mess with it up here. You just have to sit here and, and watch it stitch out. And as long as it's not catching on anything, it's going to stitch out just beautifully. Um, you can use any types of yarn. This is just a yarn that I got at um, Walmart. So um, you can use fancier yarns or you can use more expensive yarns. It doesn't matter, but these less expensive yarns will work just whatever colors you choose to use on it. Um, and you can see it is stitching a little bit slower than your normal embroidery designs. Um, there is only one color. Uh, when I did this design here, it did stop between the cake and the cup of coffee. I could have changed my color of yarn. I just don't have a whole lot of yarn at home. So this is all that I have. And then I had that uh, purple over there. So um, I just chose to leave it the same. Now, if I wanted to go, once this has stitched, if I wanted to go back and add a background fill on that, I certainly could do that. Um, and I will show you how that's done when this is finished, how you can get those background fills in there. Uh, but this little squirrel is awful cute. Um, and as you can see, it shows the little triangle stitches on here, but you really cannot see the uh, stitches on top of that yarn if you match the yarn. Now, if you want to add a decorative touch to it, you certainly could add a decorative uh, thread over the top of the yarn and get a different look entirely. Uh, so like I said, my machine has automatically slowed down to 600 stitches a minute, which is why it is embroidering a little bit slower. Um, but I think that you will enjoy the new features on this machine. It's just, they keep getting better and better and better with the things that they are adding to this machine. Uh, now, obviously our speed control does not affect the uh, speed of our embroidery because you have to go into your settings page to change the speed on the embroidery. But because I've selected couching stitch, it automatically changes that. Otherwise you can go in and change that on your own. It is a wireless um, machine. So uh, if you have connected to the wireless, this will be blue. So all of your updates can be done wirelessly. Um, however, I have found that if they do have a big update on the machine, it's better to put that on a stick because you're not dealing with the wireless connections and everything else. Um, and it'll just go faster that way. But for your, just your everyday uh, updates, you can easily do that. Um, wirelessly. This does tell me that I need my Y foot and this is my Y foot that I have on there. It also, uh, you can save this into memory if you resize that or have anything else that you've put on this. I am almost done with this squirrel. Came out really, really cute. And it's going to tell me my embroidery is finished. So it does cut the thread. So all I have to do is I just come in here and cut my yarn. Um, and when I take this off, you can see how cute that really looks. I did have my excess thread in there from the beginning of it, but you can see how well that stitch, it's not gonna come off. And uh, it does, just has a really nice stitch on the back also. Okay, so I wanted to show you, we've got the squirrel stitched out. I wanted to show you how you can add a background fill or words with your uh, couching designs, even though I cannot add anything in here. So if I try to add words in here, it's not going to let me. We're gonna go into our edit feature and we're going to click on our little 
flower right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to put an outline around that squirrel. And by putting that outline around there and saving that into memory, that's taken it over into IQ Designer, which means that we can um, go over there and play with that on the IQ Designer side. So first, what I have to do is I have to delete that. And I haven't moved the squirrel and I haven't enlarged him or anything yet. So the outline that we have is going to fit perfectly right where this squirrel is. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to come over into my IQ Designer and I'm going to go into my Shapes key where we have this same flower and I'm going to grab that squirrel. Now, when I have that squirrel on my screen right here, I can go in, I can actually add a line design. Um, so we have a lot of built-in design line designs here. We have um, the triple stitch, we have a zigzag stitch, we have the chain stitch, we have blanket stitch, but we also have 10 more built-in stitches that I could use also. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna add the triple stitch. I'm gonna change the color and then I'm going to touch my bucket key and touch on my squirrel. Um, I don't know if you could see that that did change to purple. So that means I now have a triple stitch on the, on the, the outline of the squirrel. But if I want to go ahead and add a fill stitch in there, I can go in here and I can select my fill stitches. And once again, we have 30 different stitches to choose from. So if I open this one up, uh, you can see all these different stitches in here. I'm just gonna take one here that looks like he's in trees and I'm going to change the color. I'll change it to a color so that you can actually see it on the screen. I'm gonna to touch my bucket key and I'm gonna to touch inside that squirrel. So now you can see this design is gonna stitch right inside this squirrel. And remember, I didn't move the design, I didn't enlarge it, so it's gonna fit perfectly in here. Um, I also have the uh, triple stitch on the outline, which I probably will not stitch, but you can because it would stitch right over that yarn uh, couching. So I'm actually gonna change that into a no sew. Um, and then I'm going to touch that outline. So now that is not going to sew. Um, I can also add a fill on the outside of this squirrel to fit into my hoop. And I could do that by going into my uh, shapes again, going into my hoop, and I do have the five by seven on here, so I would need to change that to the five by seven hoop. Um, I can select another um, outline on this or a fill stitch to go in here. So if I select and let's just do some, looks like some flowers or something, um, change it so you can change the color so that I know I've made that change. I'm gonna to touch my bucket key again and I'm gonna to touch there and I'm gonna to touch there. So now I can stitch this one design inside the squirrel and I could even stitch this outside design outside the squirrel. Um, all I have to do is take it over to the next screen. Um, Right now, I'm going to just change the size of the uh, design inside the squirrel. So you can go down 50% on here, uh, just to get, because that's not a very big uh, space, I can make that design smaller so you can see more of the design. Uh, I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna do a preview where it's gonna tell me I'm exiting IQ Designer. So now when I, it finishes that, you can see my little squirrel in here. Now I'm not gonna stitch out that, um, the background there. I just wanted to show you that that's how you can do it. So if I go in here and set this, um, I have that. So I can actually, um, I can edit this in any, any way I want. This does have a no sew button on here. They've added that also to this machine, which is a fabulous feature. So I am going to uh, not stitch this one so if that one's selected, I select no sew, and uh, you're gonna see that now that has been taken away. So that no sew feature is kind of cool when you're designing things in IQ Designer. Uh, I'm not gonna stitch this the whole thing out because it's just gonna take too long, but I can show you um, just how it's going to be. Uh, so if I put my presser foot down, so now you can see that it's gonna start stitching this uh, design in here. Now this one is taking 13 minutes because I did make it smaller, uh, but that's a really cool feature that you could add designs to your couching. So you're not just stuck with the outline design of your design. 
Um, I am going to stop this right now because I did want to show you one other thing. I'm going to cut that thread. They have added a new feature to these machines that are really cool. So when I go into embroidery and do layout, you're going to see this little box here. And this is a two point alignment box. So if you're trying to um, center something on a, a shirt and you don't hope the shirt properly, you can come in here and use your two point placement and that's going to make that uh, design square and straight on your fabric, whether or not you have hooped it straight or not. Um, so be sure and come in and check out our new Altair 2. I can show you how this new two point placement works. We can show you how the couching works. It's a great machine. It's a lot of fun. So I hope you come down and see us at the Quilting Bee. Thank you.